opportunities. Uh, please welcome him here tonight. Thank you, Sebastian, and all my good friends in the uh, Rainbow community. Um, yes, I'm the Greens candidate. Um, just a little bit about myself. Um, I came from the country, um, Aubrey Wodonga, in fact. Um, I have had a long experience with dealing with bureaucracy. First of all, the Aubrey Wodonga Development Corporation when it acquired the family property on the outskirts of Aubrey. And I really do understand what the people who are subjected to the threat of West Connects and compulsory acquisitions are likely to go through. I ran a business in Wodonga for a number of years after that and also a farm at Corowa. I fell into a um, rather deep rift with a major bank. I fought for 11 years. I came out the other end in tack. Bought property in Sydney and been here ever since. Uh, I feel very much part of this community, especially this wonderful rainbow community, and all my brothers and sisters and all those binary non-conforming uh, people whom I've met over the years, I find you to be really my truest friends. Now, I've got three questions in front of me, which I'll deal with first, and I think then I'll come back and tell you a little bit more about the Greens. But do the Greens support compulsory voting for businesses? No, we don't. It's quite simple. Uh, the Greens policy on business voting is that um, it's one person, one value, as it comes off the, off the Australian electoral roll. Although, when I say that, the Greens have always taken the view, and it is a libertarian view, that if a business owner or a property owner wants to register to vote, they should be free to do so. But the threat of a $2,200 fine if you do not register and vote, or even to go through the paperwork as I had to, to register my business, is a complete impost on a business and it should not exist. I truly believe that on the libertarian principle that brings me here to speak to you tonight as a member of the Rainbow community, we value our personal rights. And as a small business person, I really also value those personal rights. I know I've got to pay taxes, I know I've got to support other people in the community, and I know the people that I should be supporting are the people who are the least privileged in, this in the community. That's what makes me a Green. Now, as far as Oxford Street goes, um, yes, Christine, I do support your proposal for a museum. I think that we need to respect the, the angst and the toil that our forebearers went through to deliver the freedoms that Clover also alluded to, and thank you so much for the work that you did in Parliament on that. But it's not over, and as Christine said, yes, the marriage equality issue is looming up in front of us, and it should not be an expensive plebiscite. We shouldn't be spending $160 million and reported to be a $500 million loss of GDP when it's taken into account all the disruption that will occur on that day. We know how members of parliament are aligning at the moment. We know that most people will pass this. And why the 2004 fiddle with the Marriage Act can't be just changed by a couple of words to insert any adult human being is beyond me. It is such a simple thing to resolve. Truly freedom is all about giving us that libertarian right to live our identity. I cherish that. So let's fix that fast. Now, as for the remainder of Oxford Street, yes, we do need to revitalise it. That's essential. Now, just recently I was honoured to speak at a at a forum put on by the uh, Chamber of Commerce over at Piermont, Oldermo and Glebe, and they brought to the attention of the Greens the, the prospect of these business improvement districts. Newcastle are doing this, they're doing it well. I took this to my party, who make their decisions by consensus, and at a meeting, by consensus, the people at that meeting supported that concept. So in the city of Sydney now, the Greens support the idea of business improvement districts. This is something that if the business community engages in it, the council will collect a levy, give it back to you, so that you can engage with the residents around you and your community in general and improve your district and have the power and the authority 
and the desire to deliver back for yourselves and for your community. Isn't that what we're here for? That's what we should be aiming to do. Cut bureaucracy and deliver for the people. And that definitely includes the small business community. I think that's my five minute bell. So um, what would we do, what will I do on council? I will work if all of us get elected on council, my promise to the community is I will work with all these wonderful people and we will deliver for the people of Sydney. That's my promise. Thank you very much, Thank you.